Pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism is an inherited disorder, named for its similarity to pseudo-hypoparathyroidism in presentation. The term pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism is used to describe a condition where the individual has the phenotypic appearance of pseudo-hypoparathyroidism type 1A, but is biochemically normal. It is sometimes considered a variant of Albright hereditary osteodystrophy. It was characterized in 1952 by Fuller Albright as pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. Presentation Pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism can be best understood by comparing it to other conditions. Hormone resistance is not present in pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. Short stature may be present. Obesity is less common in pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism than in pseudo-hypoparathyroidism. Osteomacutis may be present. Pathophysiology the GNAS1 gene involved in both pseudo-hypoparathyroidism type 1A and pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism is greatly affected by imprinting. When a father who is pseudo-hypoparathyroidism undergoes spermatogenesis, imprinting of the GNAS1 gene inactivates both copies of his genes, including the defective one. The seemingly contradictory presentation of symptoms can be explained by the fact that most tissues in the body reactivate the GNAS1 copy, whereas the kidneys do not. Thus, the result is haploinsufficiency of the GNAS1 product in most tissues, giving the phenotype of pseudohypoparathyroidism type 1A. In the kidneys, however, the paternally derived gene remains imprinted and inactive, leaving only the non imprinted maternally derived gene. As a result, as long as the maternally derived GNAS1 gene is functional, renal handling of calcium and phosphate is normal, and homeostasis is maintained. Inheritance A male with pseudohypoparathyroidism has a 50% chance of passing on the defective GNAS gene to his children, although in an imprinted, inactive form. Any of his children receiving this gene will have pseudohypoparathyroidism. Any of his daughters that have pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism may in turn pass along pseudo-hypoparathyroidism 1A to her children as the imprinting pattern on the inherited paternal gene will be changed to the maternal pattern in the mother's ovum during meiosis. The gene will be reactivated in any children who inherit it. Pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism and pseudo-hypoparathyroidism both involve the same GNAS gene, but pseudo-pseudo-hypoparathyroidism has normal calcium homeostasis because of the normal maternal allele in the kidney. Linguistic significance At 30 letters, the English name of the disorder is one of the candidates for being the longest word in English. See also, GNAS1, parathyroid hormone, longest word in English. References External links